are you guys already started at plotting season two? We did. We started the writer's room. Uh, this is, you know, I can't, I don't know if it's the end of our second week or the end of our third week. And how excited are you to have Hiram to play with? Now? I'm very, very excited. It's funny. Every time we would we would talk about a Veronica story in season one, I'd be like, "This story doesn't work because we don't have Hiram." We keep talking about this guy who's not on the show, so I'm really excited. And is he going to be as much of a thorn in Archie's side as he is in the comic books? You know, we. I, I love, of course, the, the core dynamic in the Archie comic books is, is Hiram hates Archie. He doesn't think Archie's good enough for his daughter. Uh, I like honoring that, but of course we also like putting a twist on it as well. Uh, uh, so we're going to play with it. We're going to play with it. But yeah, I don't. I think uh, I think Hiram doesn't think anyone would be good enough for Veronica. And I don't know if you'll be able to answer this or not, okay. but in the most recent issue of the Wade comic book, yeah. it was hinted that the Blossom's father is not the Blossom's father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could that be reflected? in the TV show with the wigs and all that? Um, that's a really good question. <laughs> um, a anything is possible. Anything is possible. And I'm trying to think of a good way to word this. Um, I know you're tired, probably tired of being hurt, asked about the same two characters, Hiram yeah. and Sabrina, all yeah. the time. Is there any chance that it may be a different major Archie Comics character we're going to be seeing by season's end? That's a really interesting question. Yeah, I think anything's possible. Anything's possible. Is there anybody that you've wanted to play with but haven't been able to? It's a really good question as well. No, I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's Sabrina, there's Katie Keene, there's, there's Jinx, there's, there's uh, the Red Circle heroes, there's obviously Sabrina, there's, uh, 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 I mean, it's, it's, there's dozens, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 yeah. And when you've been writing for the comics, like Afterlife, yeah. or, you know, even beforehand, um, were you ever thinking when you were writing this, this would make a wonderful TV series? You know, I have wa dreamt about doing something with the Archie characters, bringing them to life. For a long time, I thought it was going to be a musical, a stage musical, and for years and years, and then I worked on it as a movie for years and years and then finally it kind of it, it, it became a show and it's sort of like it's like this is exactly what it should be because there are m so many stories to tell with these with the kids and there's not one uber story you know it's not like you know every Batman is everyone knows his origin story that's his origin story with Archie there's not there's not a, a one key myth like that. So it's nice to get to tell a lot of stories. And with the Riverdale hiatus coming up for the fans, can you pimp the Riverdale comic book that people can buy every yeah, month? Yeah, the, the River, you, <laughs> you have to read the Riverdale comic book because the R Riverdale writers write it. Uh, uh, a lot of times stories that we didn't get to do on the show, either for budget reasons or time reason, or or millions of reasons we're putting them in the comic books. It's really, it's a fun book. And might there be any spoilers or hints in reading those comics? It's a really good question. Um, no, although like it's funny, in the writer's room sometimes we'll say, I'll say, oh no, we did that, and then they'll be like, no, no, that's from the comic book, not from the TV show. And I'm like, okay, well let's do it in the TV show. So, so, so you might find hints, and you might find uh, a little overlapping. And you have a big uh, Mark Wade uh, uh, time Event. runs out. Yes. Think it's called events? It's called uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, over no, it's called um, over, over the edge. Over the edge. Yeah, um, what can you tease about that for the fans who yeah, might want to buy it? I mean that it's a big summer? story, it's a story Marks wanted to tell for a while. Uh, 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 it's really dramatic and uh, uh, yeah, it's a great story. And for my last question, how confident are you that you're gonna find a Reggie as hot as Ross Butler? You know, that is definitely uh, one of the one of the big things we need to find is a Reggie who is as hot as Ross Butler. Listen, I, I love Ross. We spent months finding Ross. Uh, we're gonna spend months finding uh, a, a new Reggie that 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 is uh, uh, hopefully equally as hot as Ross.